Um, you know, I think this notion of international rules is very comfortable for some people to use when it suits them. But they don't believe in international rules when it doesn't suit them because they don't apply international rules or law equally in all circumstances. So you can't say because Ukraine has been invaded uh, that suddenly sovereignty is important, but it was never important for Palestine. Mm -hmm. It's very peculiar. Mm -hmm. If you believe in international law truly, mm -hmm. then wherever sovereignty is infringed, it must apply. Mm -hmm. And this is the point we've been making, that we use the framework of international law unequally depending on who is affected. And we are arguing that that must change. And one of the interesting changes that has occurred is the sudden movement, because Russia has invaded Ukraine, that we say, OK, let's not allow the Security Council to just have the veto and let it pass. We take it to the General Assembly. When some of us had been calling for the General Assembly to have a greater say, we never enjoyed support. But suddenly today, see, that's where international law begins to mean nothing. Because for some, we see it as a cheating, and for others, we see it as a benefit. So our argument is let's revise the international uh, multilateral system to ensure that we observe that post-1948 has arrived. <laughs>